Um, like like our kids' attitude and approach to uh, practice. Um, unfortunately, we continue to have one of those years where it just uh, seems to be one thing after another with uh, you know injuries or things that are going on. You know, uh, Shedro's uh, father passed away um, Wednesday night, and that was a shock to him. And he's uh, you know probably won't make the trip, and I totally understand that. And then JB gets the flu. And so we're not even sure who our quarterback is right now, but uh, it's been one of those weeks and, uh, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, we'll go and uh, our kids will play hard. I know that. And, and uh, again, I like the way they've approached things. It's just they ain't got quarterback room has been a, a beat up. I uh, wish Charlie was ready, but it just doesn't. He's struggling to get his mobility in his hand back. And uh, Caden's still a ways away. And, so uh, we'll see how JB feels, obviously, but he hadn't been able to practice the last uh, two days or so. So it's uh, it's uh, presents some challenges for sure. Is it Nate Hampton time? It may be. Nate's gotten most of the reps, so we'll go with QB four and see see what happens. But um, you know, again, I hope JB feels better, and I think he I think he would, you know, provided he has some energy and. From the flu and stuff, I think uh, he'll have. We'll be able to catch him up on understanding, but it's nothing like getting the live reps. So that's and uh, Shedro. We had a good package for him. I felt like, and um, obviously, if he doesn't make the trip, that's uh, that was a lot of not a lot of work, but part of your plan was was uh, wasted in, in prepping. But totally understand that if he uh, chooses to to go with his family. Um, either, I think it was Tuesday night. Okay. And then uh, TJ Green, I guess he's, he's – TJ's, re TJ's ready to play. So that that's good that we have him back for sure if Shedro doesn't make the trip. So that, uh, that, that certainly will help us. All that aside, you, know, you kind of look at this game and, and uh, your team brings in top 25. That obviously brings some more uh, attention and national eyes to, to the game. Uh, playing an SEC team does as well on national TV. This opportunity is something that, you know, Yeah, I, I love opportunities like this, and I think our players will relish it. Uh, are we at a point where we can go in there and and compete for sixty minutes with uh, you know a very good SEC team? I don't I don't know. Um, it's it's hard for me to judge that, um, particularly with uh, some of the challenges we're facing. But it's still uh, nonetheless a great opportunity and um, a great experience. You know, it's what college sports really. I mean, we've kind of you know college sports is a lot of things right now, and sometimes we forget that it. It really should be about the experience that our student athletes are getting, and some of that's getting lost, unfortunately, in some of the the ways that uh, we're having to operate now. But but you know, at places like this, I think you can still have uh, a semblance of that, and and uh, we've kind of taken that approach. No one's really slowed down their rushing attack this year. Uh, they kind of do what they do. One thing I did notice, though, it was with third down in their wins, they're fifty-seven percent converting, and their losses, they're forty percent converting. That's uh, important in every game, and certainly in a game where you're playing a, a team that is deeper and stronger and more talented. You, you're, um, it's even more important. I think that and and red zone defense, where we hopefully can hold them to some field goals, um, would be uh, critical in, in in us staying close in the game. Yeah, you know, I, I think this the story that we'll tell, you know, we're writing a story, obviously every season you are, um, but the grit and um, of this team and toughness is uh, it's pretty special, you know, for um, for them to be sitting here with the record they do. And um, I don't think I've ever, I know I, I've never had to play more than two quarterbacks and um, Really, have never lost my starter for a significant time in a season that I can recall. But um, I just think you know our team has got great culture and um, leadership and toughness. Still on line to Bob Holt now. Bob, uh, hey, 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 Bob. Hey, 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 hey
Oh, you know, I am too, but it's, uh, it's, it, it's not just us that has them, I'm sure. Um, you know, I know you guys played Ole Miss last year, but for this year's team, are you guys thinking this week to kind of simulate a lot of crowd noise? Because I saw the biggest crowd that you played in front of us, about 30-some thousand awake, and Arkansas, I'm guessing, is going to have – you know, about 70,000. Yeah, we, um, we've we we've prepared just like I did when I was back in the SEC and um, had all the all the Arkansas fight song and crowd noise and the woo pig suey and um, everything as loud as we could get it in our indoor and in our outdoor field too. So um, we're I think we're prepared for the noise. We've we've we'll see obviously, but um, we certainly have put them in that environment to hopefully for them to, to handle it. And then the n number 17 on defense for Arkansas, Hudson Clark, he, he plays corner and he's played nickel and safety. And mm -hmm. he's, he's really great at high on the pro football focus. I was wondering if you'd noticed him on film, what, what, what you think? Of yeah, I think he's, Clark. I think he's a really good corner and I think he uh, does a good job obviously in understanding their whole defense because they've played him, you know, most every position due to their injuries that they've had some throughout the year. But I think he's most natural at corner when I watch him, but um, very impressed with, with Hudson. And then uh, one more question. So your 14 guys been getting most of the snaps. You said Brewer. I know he played a little bit last week, but he's kind of regressed a little bit. Kind of the same thing as last week. He tried it and just said, I don't feel like I can hold the ball sufficiently to uh, – to function and um, you know I thought he had a pretty good Tuesday and then it seemed like it kind of swole back up on him again and tightened up and just really hadn't been able to uh, now will it go down between now he's going to travel will it go down between now and Saturday enough for him to feel like he could uh, not hurt us if he uh, if he's in the game you know we'll see but uh, yeah Nate has gotten most of the snaps the last two days obviously with JB being out sick, but um, I'm certainly not ruling out JB yet. You know, I just uh, hope he has the uh, the energy from being uh, sickly this week. Hey, th thanks, Hugh. Yeah, man, thank you, Bob. Let's go to Tom Murphy next online. Tom, go ahead. Yeah, hey, Hugh, good to see you again. You uh, too. Quick question here. From the Arkansas perspective, their non-conference schedule this year was Cincinnati ranked in the opener, and then you know BYU, which had been ranked, you guys, and then they play Bobby Petrino. Can you mm -hmm. imagine if you were still in the SEC? What you know, you, we, you're looking for a little break on those. Yeah, we would have to talk about who's doing that scheduling. <laughs> we, we would have to we would have to talk about that, and you know, obviously they've fared well in all of those games, but uh, you certainly wish they were. You know, I know the first three were not easy. I don't know about ours, but uh, the first three certainly weren't weren't easy. Um, they had to strain some to win. Um, so I know from living that 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 schedule that you go through in that conference, you certainly don't. Uh, you wish you had a little breather every now and then. Yeah, and then just real quick, your personal relationship with Sam. I, I know Monday you said you know not much, but what do you think of him as a coach and what he's done? Here? I think he's a great fit. At Arkansas, I think fit, man, at, at places is so um, vital and important. And um, the ads that uh, typically get that right usually um, probably experience at least some sort of uh, peace among the the, the patrons um, because the guy fits with with that culture and with those people. And there's no question when you listen to Sam and his infinity for that place and the people, and it's genuine. Um, and um, I, he's one of the hard workers and has proven it by going through the years and years of being an assistant coach. you got to admire that, and I just think he's a, a great fit for that place. Thanks, man. Yep. So something else I was looking at, too, is that the Missouri State game, they are up 10 in the fourth quarter, and then one of the things that's flipped it on when they give up that big punt return for a score is special teams Of course, you know all three facets, explosive plays would can drastically change a game quickly, especially a punt return or something like that. So that's, uh, you know, obviously we're going to have to be on our game in all three facets. Speaking of special teams, this game a little bit more uh, special for uh, Tanner Burns. He goes back 
Yeah, Tanner uh, spent a lot of years there, and uh, certainly will you know, be fine, uh, I'm sure, for him to go back there. There's Jesse Stones from there also, and uh, obviously I've got some friends coming up from the Jonesboro area and different places. So it uh, there'll be some hugs and uh, well wishes, I'm sure. Saturday it's supposed to be bad enough Friday that a lot of high school teams are moving the games to Thursday. Did you guys have plans to do a walkthrough at the stadium here? Yeah, I don't. I, Bob, I, I always do our Friday of practice before we leave. I just don't like the – I like when I get on the ground, wherever we're going, to go straight to the hotel, go straight to our free-flowing evening meal and, and start meetings. And I've just always done that. And uh, so we, we do it here before we leave so we won't be doing it there but I'm I can't tell you how joyful I am for you to tell me that Saturday may actually look like a, a decent playing game because I haven't experienced one of those up there yet <laughs> well, I'm not a meteorologist I'm just reading the phone, I think it's supposed to be okay but Friday apparently it's going to be real windy and rainy and not, not like I say high school teams are moving their games up oh, I hope we get our plane in there before it starts getting too windy yeah okay Yep, thank you.